YouTube, it's me, and I have yet another not political, not about smashing white supremacy video. What's happening with me? I have an addiction. I, I explained in a video I uploaded a couple weeks ago that I, I don't know if it's the state of the world, but I now obsessively watch haul videos. That's uh, videos of people showing things they got at thrift stores and yard sales and showing them to the camera and, and talking about how much they can sell them for. And um, since my last video from the K-Town permanent yard sale where I spent $21 on 10 items of clothes, I have sold none of those items. They're still in my closet. Some of them I've worn out. Um, no, tr There's almost like no traction on these items, like barely any likes on Poshmark. So. Uh, so what did I do? I decided to buy more stuff because um, when you have a, a drug problem, you you um, or at least a shopping problem, you you, you find ways to, to 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 make you know what? How do I get that high back? How do I get that sale going? Um, so I'm gonna show you some stuff I picked up at the K Town Permanent Yard Sale. I haven't put them up yet, um, and I want to also tell you how I turned. Uh, I, I thought I I had made about eight hundred dollars. And um, it turns out I made nothing. Hold on a second. I'm gonna go grab something. Stay right there. I'm gonna show you these things. There's one other side of me. That's just what I'm forgetting. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Did I lose you? Did I lose you, YouTube? I don't. I don't. I'm not good at editing, so I'll just do a one take. Okay. So this this is uh, from a few weeks ago. This is a there's a new Korean lady on the block, and um, a new Halmony and and uh, she sold this this is I bought on Halloween I was uh, no I bought it before Halloween actually is that right did I buy it on Halloween before Halloween I okay so this is the thing is I'm my life is in a good place I'm not like um, I'm not I'm not I, I I'm I'm up for uh, I have a fellowship from the city of LA I'm up for artisan residence at the San Diego Airport I'm waiting to hear about a commercial that I'm on a veil for um, a, the sec a second commercial that I would have booked in, in a month. So why am I collecting people's old garbage with their old juju and selling it? I don't know, I have an addiction. Okay, so this I bought, I think on Halloween or near Halloween, it's a, it's made out of a safety pins and it's a skull. That was a dollar, That's a, it's like a no-name brand. So if anything, I spent a dollar on a bunch of safety pins. Um, and I'll show you, and, and the same new Korean lady from the K-Town Permanent Yard Sale. This, uh, I've actually seen some solds on this on Posh, and I've been wearing it a lot. And every time I wear it, I start singing Neil Diamond's Forever in Blue Jeans, who I finally got to see in concert this year. This is a denim and supply shirt. I bought it for a dollar. And I actually wore this to an audition that I am I'm on a veil for this commercial um, as an Olympic sports fan. So I wore this under uh, my shirt. That was a dollar. It's really... I mean, I, I mean, I was in a big American flag kind of wearing gal, but I ain't something about, I feel like a little cowgirl, and I love it. Um, this I got from my my uh, my OG, Hominy, um, a cat sweater. This does not fit me. It's a, it, might be, it might be for a little teenager. It's tiny. It was a dollar. I thought cat sweaters would sell like crazy, especially with these jewel eyes, and I thought for a buck, let's do it, because I just sold this cat sweater that I wore in Comedy Central, for, a, for like 12 bucks and it was like old as fuck and so I was like yeah let me make some cash nobody's touching my stuff it's okay because I have an addiction I'm gonna keep finding crap to sell um, here's another sweater about Ann Taylor um, this talk about brands that you pick up that do not sell Ann Taylor I think it might be a better eBay brand I don't have an eBay store set up but this is a good Asian mom audition sweater it's just a one dollar um, before I really got back into the magic of, of shopping at yard sales and thrift, I, I remember going down to Hollywood Boulevard and like, it was like the day before I had to shoot, uh, pictures for, for, um, headshots. And I was like, who am I? I have to find a mom sweater. Cause when you get to my age range, you have to have a mom sweater. So this is a, I might put that up for sale. It's getting a little fuzzy. Okay, so this is from, um, this is, these are, I'm going to show you what I just picked up yesterday morning from the K-Town Permanent Yard Sale. Um, so the new lady in town just kind of got some good stuff, like name brand stuff. Um, she charged a little bit more. This is a, a Jessica Simpson maxi dress. It was two bucks. It actually, I think, would fit me if I have a holiday party to go to or if I get pregnant for some reason. 
Um, so that was two bucks. This was hanging on the telephone pole and when it was hanging on the telephone pole, it was like this. And I was like, I, I can't even see what it was. And then, um, the comps for that are like 15 bucks. So there's, there's, there's no, there's actually like almost no money to be made in this, but I love selling things. Like when something sells, it's like, ah, oh, validated. Someone likes my taste. And like, I, I hate listing stuff. Mailing stuff is the best. This is uh, from that same new K town, Korea town lady. Um, this is a petite dress. I think it's too small for me, but it's a good, if you can see, a good, um, these have been selling, uh, I think for like 15 to 20 bucks. So this was two bucks. Um, so yeah, you know, why not be a national award-winning artist who sells used clothes on the side for pennies? Why, why can't this be a thing I do? Okay, so, uh, so then, so from the, there's, so there's one Korean lady, I, call, I, I refer to her as the lady with the nose. She has like, I don't know if she burned her nose in a fire once, but she's all, she's like, so, so I sort there's, there's a woman whose hair is here, there's, there's the nose lady, there's a new Korean lady who wears an apron, and then um, there's a woman adjacent to all them, and she has actually really good brands, but her prices are insane. I've never bought anything from her. She, she has some pretty good Brands, but it's like eight bucks, nine. She had baby fat out there. She had the Salvador Fagano shoes. Like I, I, I've never owned a pair of those, but she has a pair, but she wants eight. And I was like, it's kind of a big risk. Like I, I try to like, I'm trying to tell myself to just buy things that I know I can wear while I hold on to it for the next five freaking years before someone buys it. Okay, how like, how like, this actually, I washed this sweater but it smelled totally like Korean grandma. And I, I can't even describe the smell, um, but like as soon as I smell it, I'm like, yeah, that's a Korean old lady smell, you know? Um, but I think I can rock this. Like, I think I can bring my youth to this sweater. It's just like, it's actually from Korea. This is an extra, extra large because, you know, Korean sizes. And um, extra, extra large, yet my size. It's got little jewels and stuff on it. And some of the jewels are missing, I've just noticed. But um, that was a buck from the nose lady. Um, this one I was really into. Uh, it's a sort of vintage look dress. And um, it's got these sheer sleeves. And it's like, it's, I just love vintage dresses. It's a good holiday dress. It does fit me. It's super short. But look up close. It's 100% pure silk. You know, it's, it says Dulce. And I freaked out for a second. I was like, oh my God, did I pick up a Dolce & Cabana dress? But there's no tag in it. it the tag just says 100% pure silk. And so I'm in this Poshmark group where people show what they sell. It's really fun. Like uh, it's people who are like live at the thrift store too. And they take pictures of things and they like, should I buy this or pass on it? Buy this or pass on it? And it's like this great drama and people weigh in. And so the folks in that group think it's a knockoff, uh, Asian knockoff, which would make a lot of sense because I'm in K-Town. Um, from my OG lady who I bought a lot of stuff for, she gets, she was getting mad for a while because I wasn't buying anything from her. So I just, for a buck, bought this Christmas sweatshirt. It is ugly, but there is a market for Christmas sweatshirts. And then I figure I can wear it if no one buys it, but, um, it's so ugly. Uh, but there's a, but ugly is in because we're so bored as a country. Okay. So those are the things that I bought from the K-Town Permanent Yard Sale. So yesterday... I, uh, I was like just working in a cafe and I was like, ah, I just like, I couldn't stop fantasizing about going to bins. Like I have a show for 550 people at a major performing art presenter in January. And I can't stop thinking not about the show, but about the Tucson Goodwill outlet. Like, and I, I told my technician, we're going to, we're going to, when we go visit your grandfather in Tucson, we're going to just drop me off at the Tucson outlet. I'm just going to go through piles of shit by the pound and um we're gonna shove it in the car and bring it back to LA I don't know what's wrong with me you guys like I I, I have a fantastic career as an artist and I'm like I'm like gonna give it all up to to sell garbage but it's so exciting it's like the only thing I live for I think I, I think I'm also itching to like just create new work and and that's probably what is happening so I was like all right the Goodwill outlet in LA is an Atwater it's very far away I don't own a car um, I don't want to take a scooter out there because then I'd have to try to lug back 50 pounds of things on a scooter and I'm, I'm not that good of a scooter. It's not like Southeast Asia where I can, you know, put a family of five on a scooter and, 
and like 600 pounds of produce. So, um, so I was like, I'm just gonna go to the Goodwill in the neighborhood. And so this is what I found. I actually picked up a bunch of stuff and then had to put it back. Because the thing is, the, 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 the prices are so marked up at Goodwill, there's like the, um, with the margins are not very good. So, uh, but it was, it was a good exercise in self-control and I think this is slowly knocking out of me that I gotta stop doing this. And that's what this is. This is what you're here for. You're here, you're like, you're my free therapist watching me confess. So, um, this is what I did pick up. Uh, I got all excited because I saw Burberry's of London. You see that? And I was like, I checked the comps and these sweaters are $400. And I was like, holy shit, oh my God. And um, and then I just decided, and it felt, it felt like real wool, looks like a good sweater, right? It's a fake, it's, it's a total fake, eight bucks. I was convinced that I had left with $800 in merchandise. So this, this uh, if I did, the, the, the giveaways are, Burberry should not be in lower cases and it, and it shouldn't say in London. And if it was a legit Burberry sweater, there'd be a serial number. So as it turns out, people in K-Town don't wear real Burberry and they don't give it to Goodwill after. They get fake Burberry and then they donate to Goodwill and then suckers like me buy it thinking that they made 400 bucks. So I, there is a seven day return policy at Goodwill. I'm, uh, I think I'm probably gonna return this. Um, okay, so here's my other freak out, cause I'm like going, I'm like picking up things, and I'm going, do I, do I, do I? And then I put it back, and then I see these, Jimmy Choo's, and I, for $8, and I was like, is that, is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? And, um, but look at these soles, like what, what $400, $500 shoes have these plastic soles with stars? It does say made in Italy. And then this was really through me because I thought, well, maybe because Jimmy Choo is a Korean guy, um, you see I had some Korean writing and it says original return. And I was like, well, maybe I just, because this happens in LA, you find a lot of samples. There's a fashion district nearby and there are designers who live here. And I was like, well, maybe he had his samples made in LA with directions in Korean. But I bought them anyway, even though if you look at these straps, they're, they're, they're totally stripping and falling apart. You know, like they've n there's no wear, but like that is not what a four hundred dollars shoe should look like. But I was like, ah, I don't know, these look real to me. And and actually, like the jury's a little bit out about whether or not these are real, because I did ask on that Poshmark group, and um, the H is matches the H, uh, you know, the high the high tick in the middle. Um, that's what a real Jimmy Choo looks like. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't be able to see this much glue and, um, plastic <laughs> on a Jimmy Choo. So I left there going, oh my God, I potentially have $800 of resale merchandise in my hands and I have zero. So this is how you come down from a drug high. I did buy something for myself. I pulled the tag out so I can't return it to Goodwill, but it's this, it's a cute raincoat. Um, it was $10. And I, and like, I tend to not spend that much now on myself because I know how to buy stuff so cheap. But look, it's a cute vintage raincoat. Um, I don't know, some, some dude with a fetish out there is like for watching Asian women get dressed on, uh, there's plenty of, but look how cute. Look how cute this is. So it makes me feel like a little detective in the 70s or like uh, Mary Tyler Moore walking around. So I'm keeping this for myself. I think it's been cleaned recently too, so I don't have to clean it. But that's the crap I bought and you can you can find it online and you can give me any advice on how to either get over this addiction or enable me and tell me to keep buying garbage because you love these videos. 14 minutes, 14 minutes showing you, um, now, now we're getting to 15 minutes, complete garbage. So let's pray that my art career, that I get uh, th this commercial, this residency in, in San Diego. And um, I also published a story for Vice last week. Like I am doing so well. Why am I, why am I wasting my time with trash? Because I'm a trashy person on the inside. Self-sabotage, that's what this is about. Anyway, um, yeah. So buy my garbage, make it your problem. Make it your addiction. Okay, bye.